It's Oh wow. <laughs> this is like this is an actual oh my god. This is an actual road map with every cracker barrel in the nation on the map. It is and you don't need that. What do you mean I don't need that? Everybody would need one of these. I mean if you this really have to go, you just type cracker barrel into Google Maps and it'll tell you where the nearest one is. No, Darcy, I'm old school. You can do long range cracker barrel planning with I a know. map like this. <laughs> It's really you know, good. One of the auction items tonight is we come to your house and we take your whole family to Cracker Barrel, you know? So yes. no matter where you live, I think there's like a hundred mile limit though, because believe it or not, in this day and age, there are still remote parts of the world that do not have access to Cracker Barrel. But if the, if there's no way to get your family to a Cracker Barrel, we'll probably go to the next best alternatives, you know? I don't like that. Cracker, you know, okay. what do you mean? It should be Cracker Barrel or nothing. Darcy, I'm the Cracker Barrel fanatic. You're the person who orders broccoli and grits mm -hmm. and water when we go there. After hearing Joe Bob Briggs, one of my favorite TV personalities, talk about Cracker Barrel, I was sold. I drove almost 90 miles to go to the Cracker Barrel in Camarillo, California. There is one a little bit closer, but this location was on the way to other things I was doing. From their website, Cracker Barrel is a place that preserves the ingredients of country life to share with travelers on the road and families from nearby. Seriously, what's better than putting together country atmosphere and Christmas decorations? A bit of trivia. Cracker Barrel does roughly $44 million a year in rocking chair sales. And each chair sells for a little over $200. I was eager to check out the menu, but first I had to properly appreciate the vintage atmosphere of their restroom. Really cool is if Cracker Barrel and Bass Pro Shops had a partnership. I said earlier that I love the combination of country and Christmas. Well, I also love the combination of antiques and Christmas, which I proceeded to check out. Another fun fact. All Cracker Barrel locations have a deer mount. In fact, I learned Cracker Barrel fills all their restaurants with authentic antiques. And at headquarters, they have a huge warehouse dedicated to the job. While you watch me look at the menu, let me tell you some history. The first Cracker Barrel opened in 1969 in Lebanon, Tennessee. By 1977, they expanded to 13 locations. Cracker Barrel was added to the stock exchange in 1981. Note to self, gotta buy some stock soon. In fact, Cracker Barrel went on to become worth $1 billion as of 1992. So while I waited for my server, I took video and played with my phone, but apparently most diners play the famous peg game. Like other restaurants of this kind, they started me out with biscuits, and I paid a little extra for some apple butter. And while you watch me enjoy these biscuits, let me hit you with some more history. In 2018, its first location in California was opened in Victorville. Today, Cracker Barrel has 662 restaurants in 45 states. Another fascinating thing that I learned about the Cracker Barrel is that they have their own record label featuring legendary artists like Dolly Parton and Willie Nelson. And yes, it was pretty hard to choose what to get. There were several options that looked pretty good. Ultimately, I got the maple bacon grilled chicken with broccoli and hash brown casserole. The maple bacon grilled chicken is actually a limited time only holiday special. I got it because A, I have never had maple bacon grilled chicken, so it was a new discovery for me. And B, I love maple bacon donuts. 
And, well, hot damn, it was amazingly delicious. Then, I had the cinnamon roll pie for dessert, which was some old country voodoo. Delicious. The food I had here was the most memorable restaurant food I had in years. Then, this happened. So, as a, uh, you know, kind of a, a welcome to Cracker Barrel, you know, it's your first time here. Uh, this is, you know, basically just like a complimentary card uh, for some of our, like, our sweets for, like, the thin sticks. Okay. So, yeah. all you do is just pick out your five thin sticks that you want and go to the register and we're on the house. So, oh, so, like, Candy like in the store? Yeah, it's the, the little thin sticks one. Okay, yeah. yeah. You just pick out five or whatever whatever oh. thin sticks you want and then Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh nice. Okay, blessing. Yeah. So yeah, because it was my first time at Cracker Barrel, and maybe also because he noticed the camera, they hooked me up with five free thin sticks. The manager said my selections were among the top five. Then I told the manager that the food here may as well be at a tasting restaurant. He told me that people drove out from Bakersfield just for Cracker Barrel, and then they drove back. And he also told me that the restaurant in general was very popular, in spite of their absence from Orange County. Then I walked around. The thin sticks I picked out were peach, wintergreen, birthday cake, cotton candy, and s'mores. I enjoyed taking in the store, even if nothing seemed right for me, although I almost got some vintage candy. In the end, this was definitely a highlight of the Christmas season and of all of 2023. And with that, hit the thumbs up or hit the thumbs down and subscribe in the spirit of Christmas. Blessings.